In today's video, we give you a quick spotlight and guide on one of ARK's best mods, Shiny Dinos. Welcome back to the channel. I'm TDF Gaming here on the channel. We do survival let's plays, mod spotlights, and some occasional guides on some of our favorite mods. Before we get started today, I want to say thank you to everyone subscribed over the last several weeks. We really appreciate it. Already getting closer to our next subscription goal. Thank you so much. Huge shout out to the patrons and YouTube members. You guys make this channel possible. If there's any mods that you guys want to see in the future, make sure you put them down in the comments down below. I do write down all the suggestions and I try to get to them as soon as I can within a mod spotlight video, either a top five or a solo one or even a guide like this. I'm excited today to check out this mod because this is one of those mods that I've used on every single server that I've set up over the last several years for Ark Survival Evolved and Ark Survival Ascended. I think it's one of the best mods out there because it just works really well. It's super easy to do. It's really easy to configure now on this new ASA version. It is cross-platform, so that's amazing, and it works really well across either a lightly modded server or a super modded server. It works with all different modded dinos. It's just a really cool mod, and this is Shiny Dinos by the mod developer Nev Cario. Hopefully I'm not pronouncing that too bad. I'm sorry if I am. Let's get into today's spotlight. In today's video, we're going to check out the admin stuff. We're going to check out the different types of dinos, and we're going to talk a little bit about how the mod works. Just kind of briefly go through each one of these. If you guys have more questions, put them in the comments down below. I'll do my best to answer them as I can. And if I can't, then definitely go to the actual guide for this. They have an amazing guide that they've actually listed out everything that each one of the different variations does, and they have uh, a list of all of the settings for it as well. What's nice is this is actually one of those mods that you can do in game. So people on console, you can actually adjust the settings for this in game on single player. And then if you're on a server, you got to be an admin on that server to be able to adjust it. But that's basically how it works. Let's get into it today. So there's a lot of stuff. There's no way that I can cover absolutely everything in this mod because there's just lots and lots of cool stuff. The big thing is basically shiny dinos goes around, it scans the map, and whatever's already on the map, it applies a shiny dino effect to those dinos. So it could do anything from changing their colors like these guys over here, or even giving them really cool effects like that, even some special powers and abilities, which is really cool. I'm going to put the words up on screen just in case I mess any of these up. This is basically all of the tiers. I got this from their guide. Make sure you go check out their Curse Forge page if you want to read all the description with it. I definitely urge you to go check it out because they did a good job of leaving a full description there, as well as a couple funny jokes in it. Pretty well done. They just do it. They always do a great job with this mod so this is awesome so the first one is enraged that's basically alphas they are very aggressive pretty much any dino can become enraged if they're enraged they are not tameable and they're going to chase you down they're going to be super aggressive the shinobi is super sneaky so dinos aren't going to notice you as much fathomless get a huge weight reduction anything in their inventory is reduced by 80 percent endurant can pretty much sprint non-stop they can they can sprint without losing any stamina Burning dinos are covered in flames, and they are immune to damage from fire and lava. Frozen dinos are made of ice. They actually have a little bit of a damage reduction, although they're way more, way more susceptible to fire. Spectral dinos are see-through. You can actually walk through them, and they, they take no fall damage. Filthy dinos actually give you a little bit of a poop effect when you ride them, but if you go jump them in some water, that washes off, and they're actually really cool tames. The holographic dinos give you the ability to detect other dinos around you. It gives you that kind of like that owl x-ray weird vision, kind of like you get with some of the spy glasses. Lunar dinos defy gravity so they can they can jump or bounce you have some shiny tiny dinos you've got bolstering hydrating invigorating obscured pyrethroes revitalizing and serene i'll leave the description up there so you can read each one of those but each one gets a really cool effect you also have more more variants which is the hardy stalwart inspired satiate hefty and fierce uh so like we got a weight a weight one yesterday which was the hefty one could carry a, a ton of items all right, so really quick, just with the help of the Spyglass, we're using the awesome Spyglass. If you guys want to know about anything in our hotbar, on the far left, we've got the Omega Teleporter. Second one is the Omega Dino Storage. Third one is the awesome Spyglass. So awesome Spyglass is what's going to give us all the info on these guys, because I know you guys always ask about that. Uh, but we're just going to take a quick look at these guys. I got all these spawned in and tamed them up real quick, just so we can kind of look at what they look like. There are settings to decide whether or not you want the little sparkles to happen when you tame them, because otherwise those sparkles do disappear by default. After we go look at these, we're going to go check out the actual admin settings together. It's a super quick thing, but there you go. You got the Burning Rex. You got a Holographic Rex. The Sunset Rex. Midnight Rex. Those are just color variations. We've got the Shinobi Spectral Rex. So it's both Spectral and Shinobi, which is crazy. They can actually get two effects like that. A Holographic Equus. We've got a Caribbean Carbo. That's like the most fitting one ever. A Caribbean Carbo. We've got a Rainbow Parasaur. We've got a Luna Carbo. A Inspired Saffron Pelagornis. A Amethyst Triceratops, Storm Parasaur, a Jungle Bronto. Look at the colors on that guy. And then we've got 
a stalwart polar trike and a jungle parasaur we also because i wanted to make sure that we got one from the another mod let me bring this guy in real quick there you go we wanted to bring in the guy that is from primal chaos just to show you this does work with modded dinos this is a alpha trike from the primal chaos mod and it's also got a shiny to in it you can see that it's a cleansed spice alpha trike so when we tamed this guy it was actually a filthy so it had like the poop effect all over it and whenever you rode it you get that poop effect which does knock you out and take away health and you just have to submerge them all the way in water and then that'll disappear and now we have a cleansed spice alpha trike so there you go that's, that shows you that the modded ones work just fine with this it'll show the little shiny thing on there I haven't really messed with these too much but there are a couple other items in the mod these are called the shiny prods you go around with wild dinos you poke them with the shiny prod and then you kill the dino and you're supposed to get shiny essence i haven't really tested it out much not something i've done in my playthroughs yet but i will definitely test it out when i get a chance same thing with the harpoon gun same thing it's supposed to basically apply the uh, some kind of like little buff to the guy after you do that and then you have a certain amount of time to kill them and you get the essence i might not be explaining it perfectly but hopefully i at least gave it a decent description of it but that's the dinos that's kind of what they look like basically if you want to find these dinos in the world there's a shiny dino tracker you open that up click the button and it's going to show you if any shinies are on there i just destroyed all dinos there's nothing out there right now and it's going to show you now keep in mind this doesn't work great on single player if you're playing on console uh you're going to have a little bit of issue because the only shiny dinos that are going to occur are going to be in your area there you go we just got a notification that a shiny showed up so there you go there's a shiny storm trudon right across the beach from us so we could go tame up that storm Tru trudon over there if we wanted he's going to be over there somewhere probably could see him Somewhere over there. We can go to the grid if we want to. Now, I'll, I'll show you the admin stuff in just a second. But like I said, keep in mind that if you're playing on single player on console and or if you're playing on PC and you haven't done the prevent hibernation commands, then you're not going to see anything outside of your area. So not very many things are going to spawn in right away. But you can kind of fix that with some of the admin stuff. Let's move into the admin stuff for this. It's really cool. So as long as you're either on single player or you're an admin on the server, all you have to do is right-click your little thing here, and it's going to bring up the shiny admin settings. This can all be done in your INI for server managers. If you just want to do this in your INI and you don't want to log on the server to do this, you can definitely do it that way. I prefer doing it this way because it actually explains everything and gives you some really easy things to look at inside of here. There's also a couple other admin commands you can use for it, but that can be done inside here too. So we're going to check it all out inside of here. I'll try to explain briefly some of the settings in here, but basically the shiny admin settings, we've got general spawning, notification, tracker and advance let's check out the general first show sparkles on tames i think by default that is off uh maybe not but that's basically once you tame them do you still want that sparkle to show whether or not you can carry the shiny dinos so if you have a dino that can pick up the other dinos can you carry it yes or no shiny dinos untamable you can make it to where none of the shinies are tameable number of raw essence that you get from enraged kills oh that's right you get the essence from the rage kills that's what that's what the enraged guys uh unlock tech ingrams on kill this decides if you're going to get tech ingrams when you kill a shiny dino this is just a nice way for people to unlock tech that may not be able to get to the boss fights really good in modded playthroughs tech ingrams to unlock you can tell it one or more and then tech ingrams to unlock for enraged so killing an enraged which is the alpha gives you two and you can you can change that obviously you can make it more or less depending on what you want what's really cool is this one actually gives you the ability to spawn things on your own if you wanted to and it's going to be randomly across the map if you're in single player it's going to be in the area that you're in we're going to go spawn shiny and you can decide what kind you want so you can cruise down here like if we want to do this in rage we could click that and we could click spawn shiny now somewhere on the map there is going to be probably hopefully not too close to us there's going to be a shiny enraged dino that will spawn in there we go. We got a shiny enraged megalodon that just came in off of that. So that, that's what we had there. Uh, but basically, yeah, you're, it's sometimes it takes a couple clicks to get it to work, but usually it's pretty seamless. If you just do random, it definitely has a little bit better. Random, spawn shiny. We're going to get, there you go, a shiny enraged trike. So we actually did get a trike to spawn in somewhere. If we can find him. Is that him right there? There you go, an enraged trike. So if you get anywhere close to this guy, he's going to get super aggressive. Right, so like I said, in here, you can choose some of these other ones. I usually just do a few random ones on the server to help out people playing on the server. But basically, click that a few times. You're going to see a bunch of them click up there. It will give you the notification. You can turn that notification off if you don't want to see it whenever every time one of these spawns in. For a server like mine, we run with anywhere from 10 to 100 shinies, depending on how we set it up. And we definitely don't want a message every single time one gets killed or one spawns in on the map. So we definitely don't do that. Let's go ahead and check out the actual spawning stuff here. So let's click. Oh, you can also do would destroy all wild shiny dinos instead of just all dinos you do just the wild shinies we go over to the spawning one this is where you really change how many you're going to spawn currently on the map if you look down at the bottom it says with the selected 
spawn settings, you can expect an average to 50, uh, average of 50, 48 to 50 wild shiny dinos to be on the same time. The three main settings you want to change for that are, are the spawn times, the dino lifetime, and the spawn settings max number of dinos. So those are the main ones. If we change this one all the way down to like 10, then that's obviously going to change that, or down to 20, changes that to 20. If you want to, if you change this one too much, if the spawn interval is very, very long, it's going to make it to where there's less of them on there because by the time a new one spawns in, the old one will die off. So just depending on how you do that one, but we can go like this. We can make it like that. We can make it really short. There you go, 20. And then pretty much whatever you set this at is how many you're going to have on the map up to 100. Now, keep in mind, if you do a really high number, it could cause a little bit of lag on the server because it is doing a scan of the map and then spawning in a shiny dino. But to be honest with you guys, shiny dinos is pretty low impact on your server. It's not a super huge mod, so you don't have to worry about it really causing a lot of problems. And it just works really well. We've, all, we've never really had problems with shiny dinos other than people wanting way more shiny dinos. All right. Uh, the other ones, you can do minimum and maximum level at default they usually spawn in slightly higher than what your normal uh, wild level is so if your wild max wild dino is 150 shiny dinos come in at 150 to 180 we typically go a little bit higher so if we have level 150 dinos we go 150 to 200 for shinies that way you can find something really good out in the wild it gives a little more incentive to go out there and tame those shinies other than just the cool colors or effects over here, like I said, this is the max number of shiny dinos. We got it at 100. You can change it to where it doesn't do flying shiny dinos. That way you don't have to worry about uh, a bunch of, of flyers out there if you want just land dinos. Same with aquatics. We usually turn aquatics off because most of us don't like going into the water that much. No unrideable shiny dinos. If they're not rideable, they won't spawn. No duplicate shiny dinos. I usually turn that off because who cares if you have a couple different trikes out there. But uh, sometimes if, if you have this on, sometimes there, you might have nothing but one dino out there with all of the... Not one dino, but one type of dino that's become a shiny if you're on a map that has like overspawns and stuff like that. Chance for dinos with two variants, 10%. So that's how we saw that one behind us with that chance for boosted stats. And then there used to be a size variation. I don't know if that's still a thing in this version. Next one is the notifications tracker. We typically disable the notifications so we don't get all those. Disable coordinates on notifications. No dino type in notifications. We just do, once you turn that on, it's going to turn all of them off. But you can obviously adjust it to where you want it. No shiny variant notifications. All right, notification duration. If you leave it, if you leave that like that and it's still going to pop up, you can decide how long you want it up there. Require tracker and inventory if you have to have this little dino tracker. The disable shiny tracker on or off, disable coordinate tracker on or off. Uh, the really, really super simple, but you can basically make it to where no one can do the tracker. They have to watch for the notifications and then go hunt it down. Then it's going to be a race to go hunt that down, especially on a more highly populated server. Location precision is just how close that no that little grid that you get from your shiny tracker, how close that one's going to be. So that's super simple. Uh, last one is the advanced disable essence on or off. That's the essence that we talked about earlier. The reward chance of a second essence. Level multiplier for enraged. That's uh, how much more levels the actual enraged will get because they are a little bit boosted. Uh, no undermesh checks. And then the spawn shinies on startup on that. So that's when you first start up the server. It's going to go ahead and do that. It does 15 search loops. So basically it does like a little radar across the map. And then it spawns in a certain mountain across that. And then does a random selection bias of 20%. You can adjust all that as well. So once you get all that done... Make sure we close it, and then now it should be just like that. We still have notifications, looks like, it, for the shinies getting killed. So that way, if you're chasing after one and that happens, then you know about it. There is an INI for this. I'm going to splash the INI up here if I remember to. This is just a quick look at what the INI looks like. This is basically the same thing that we just looked through. It's got uh, all the settings in there, and you can do this on your server settings, or you can even do this on your game user settings for your INI on your PC as well. Now, we don't really go over them, but the admin commands for this are cheat, script command, shiny, spawn, now. That's the same as the little button that we did inside of the actual dino, the dino tracker thing here. Once we click this, it's the same thing as this, but it's the admin command for that if you don't want to do the little tracker. The cheat, script command, shon, shiny, spawn, now enraged. Make sure that an enraged spawns on the map, and then cheat, Script command, shiny destroy all wild, destroys all the shiny dinos. So same stuff that you can do right here, because you can do the enrage, you can do the destroy all shiny, all right there. All right, hopefully we covered everything in this video. This is a, one of those mods that there's so much in it that I, I would take forever to sit there and read all they have. I definitely encourage you to go check out their Curse Forge page. They have a link to a little wiki that tells you the description of everything that we went over today in much more, much better, and much clearer detail. So go check that out. Huge shout out to the mod developer for Shiny Dinos, one of my absolute favorite mods. Thank you so much for all the support, guys. I do appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We should have videos all weekend for mod spotlights, a few solo ones to kind of check out some individual mods that we've been wanting to check out for a while. Some really cool 
cool ones coming up. But I hope you guys enjoy that. Oh, uh, man, that, that's it, guys. <laughs> there you go. Hopefully this wasn't too long, and hopefully it wasn't too short, and hopefully it was just right.